So Kristen, we just returned from India. We did. Yeah, it was, it was quite a trip. It was a very good trip. So we did the film training. Yes. And this was your first time yes. doing film training, but not only film training, your first time on an iTech trip. It was a lot of firsts for me. What was, that, what was that like? What was your experience like? Man, I was really, I kind of went with no experience expectations just because I wanted to leave room for the Lord to show me what he wanted to show me. So going without any presuppositions and I was very impressed with how all the details were worked out and but just being in the training room with the trainees and actually getting to see that in person it was just it was different. It was different than watching it on a video or hearing someone tell a tale, but to be in that moment and get to see the learning take place, it was, it was really cool. So we partnered again with, with Caleb yep. in Harvest Ministries, mm -hmm. and um, he has always been uh, a great partner. This was our second uh, time to do film training there. I think the first time was uh, about four years ago or so. Um, and he always, you know, he's picked great students each time. And this time was no different. Oh, yes. The students were, were really well. Yeah. Yeah. They, they picked up on everything very quickly. Mm -hmm. Very well. Yeah. And uh, interpretation, you know, you never know what kind of interpretation you're going to get. Sure. Exactly. And, um, you know, he was always, seemed like he was one step ahead of us. A hundred percent. Always one step ahead of us. I yes. mean, it would be like, whoa, slow down. Yes. That's coming up in a little bit. Right, that's the next slide. Hang on. Yeah. It's a good problem to have. Yes, and so this was, you know, my first training overseas since, you know, the pandemic. Right. Uh, so it's been since 2019. Right. And so, and since then, we had, we've done a few um, online trainings uh, with, with the film training, and um, we had switched from, we used to use iPad minis. Uh, and we had switched to, uh, you know, smartphones. And so this was the first training with smartphones. And I, I thought that went really well. You know, the students um, were very uh, familiar with the device that they had. They didn't have to learn anything new, um, of, you know, any type of new software that we were bringing them in, um, other than the editing software. Um, so yeah, I, th I thought, you know, the training went great. We did have a few complications there at the beginning of it, right? Yeah, with the training. Yeah, it was uh, unexpectedly shorter than we <laughs> thought that it would be. We, instead of five full days of training, we had four because had four. we arrived um, at the school on Independence Day and boy, there was some celebrating going on. Yeah, it was, I think it was the 75th um, anniversary of their independence. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was really nice um, to uh, to be able to experience that, you know, in person. Definitely. You know, and you know, I think each country that has an Independence Day celebrates it, of course, differently. Um, and so it was really unique to see that uh, from their perspective. You know, we had the the Indian flags everywhere, and the, yep. you know, at the school. So the training took place at Harvest Ministries has a school there, and. Um, yeah, so the kids were in, classes were in session, so they had a, uh, a cricket match with right. the students versus the, the teachers, Right. and then they had some dancers, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All of the little girls, well, it seemed to be the older girls at the school, came up during the cricket match and put on some music and were mm -hmm. just laughing and having a good time. And they were trying to pull you in too, right? They were. Yeah. Um, then nobody needed to see that, but... <laughs> They danced so beautifully, and they knew a lot of different dances. I was really impressed. Yeah. Another thing they didn't need to see was Jamie and I, because oh. uh, Jamie uh, was our team lead on this one, <laughs> was Jamie and I going out there and trying to hit uh, the ball, the cricket ball. Y'all did well. Y'all did just fine. It's a little bit different in baseball. I grew up playing baseball. <laughs> you know, you don't want to drop your shoulder in baseball, but in cricket, it's all about, you know, trying to get underneath. Oh, yeah. And the ball can go in any direction, oh, too. They put, a, they put this nice spin on it, and when it hits the ground, you don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. So there's this element of surprise to the pitch. So It's really entertaining much different. to watch. And it was pretty fun. Yeah. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it, it felt good when you hit it. I have to say that. It so, did. Yeah. Even though it was unexpectedly 
shorter than we thought. It ended up being a really good situation. I think we were able to adapt and, and make it happen. And, and we got to participate in that celebration. That was once in a lifetime thing. Yeah, you know, missing that first day, um, you know, was, we already knew that there was going to be a celebration in the morning. So we already knew going in that we'd probably have a half day. Right. But when we were picked up that morning, we were told, hey, yeah, we're not going to be able to do it at all that day. Right. Um, so we had to adjust. And the good thing about our film training is, is that it allows us to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, we have, you know, five different courses that we go over throughout the week. Um, so we were able to do the introduction and cinematography on day two, um, which is classroom. And then we were able to go out and after we talk over cinematography, we take the students out and we show them how to shoot an interview. And so we were able to go and do that as well. Um, and that kept us, that kept us on schedule, being able to get both of those out of the way. Yeah. And that's a lot to fit into one day, but I feel like it went really well, but also was a benefit that we were staying in the same place where we were training and yep. so were the trainees. So mm -hmm. we're able to begin promptly and we could, take breaks as needed. But we were able to go a little bit later as well because yes. they were staying there and didn't have to get home. Exactly. Yeah. So that, that really helped quite a bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Great. I think we have some questions in this bowl. Okay. All right. I'll go first. Go ahead. Let's see. What was the weather like? Oh man, it was a nice uh, reprieve from the Florida heat. It was cooler. Yeah, it wasn't bad. No. It wasn't bad. It was, you know, what in the probably low to mid eighties yeah. um, on the days when it was just sunny. But when they when they had the storms come in and it was overcast, it was nice. Oh, it that felt breeze. very well. Yeah, the mornings were nice. Really nice compared to. What were you used to it was here? A, it was a, a great uh, retreat from the Florida heat. Yeah. yeah. And it was the rainy season. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, the storms came through and uh, everything was very lush and uh, flowers are blooming. Beautiful. But, but the storms holding off, we had the storms hold off most of the week. Right. Which was a blessing because we were able to go out and film. Right. And it didn't, it didn't slow the students down. Yes. So, weather was, weather was good. It was very pleasant. Weather was good. Thanks, All right. Let's go to the, the next one here. Share a favorite highlight from the trip. Hmm. What was one of your highlights? I'm trying to think. Okay, so a serious favorite highlight was at the end of the training when we were doing the film festival and everybody was getting to see their films on the big screen before we began all of the trainees got up and shared about how the training had impacted them and one of our trainees uh, she happened to be the only female trainee um, had previously had no experience doing anything on her phone beyond sending text messages or receiving phone calls and she shared about feeling empowered to use her phone to create things she never really saw that as something as an option so that was just really cool. I mean, because that's the point, yeah. you know, to, to help help them see you can do this. You're creative. You can do this and you can help create stories and share stories that further the kingdom of God. And that's what it was all about. So, yeah, it's cool for me. Yeah, I think for me was um, so when, this, when we give the students projects, we give them two. Right. And so the first one, the first project is when they just go out and it's, they're shooting their first interview and then they're editing their first, you know, we keep it to like one minute. Um, and it was when the first students started bringing theirs back in for us to review. And I saw that they were getting it. Yeah. And so that's always, and that's, that's kind of always one of my big moments in the training is, one, it knows where we're at and where we need to go yeah. from the rest of the week. But when they, when they brought them in, and then you saw the edit and then you saw that they were using the b-roll and they were shooting with the angles and their sound was was clean and good and it was just like okay they're getting it and we're going to have some good films and which we yeah, did we did the students ended up with some really really good films yep. um so i mean as far you know i've done a lot of trainings with it and it was probably the best batch of student films that i've had uh, and, we've, and we've had some good ones. Mm -hmm. We've had some real good ones. So, 
yeah, so that was a big highlight for me. On a side note, a smaller highlight for me, and I don't think that maybe you would <laughs> say this was a highlight for you, but the monkeys. There were lots of monkeys, lots and that of monkeys. was really um, entertaining for me to see. I, I, you don't you don't see them every day around here. You don't. Yeah, they're so, like kind of like squirrels over there. They're just everywhere. We were warned, <laughs> don't walk outside with a banana. Hide your bananas. Hide your bananas, or they they would they would take it. There was a one time we were at, at lunch, and then they they came in and jumped in the garbage can and they had to oh, yeah. chase them off. But yeah. I was a little worried walking around with my phone because the case was bright yellow. <laughs> my you want them to take your banana phone. Please don't take my banana phone. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Oh, All right. It's my turn. Yeah. Um, how was security for our group? It was great. The school's outside of the major city, mm -hmm. um, on the outskirts of that. Pretty isolated and rural. Um, I had personally felt no security concerns at all. I felt that we were safe throughout our entire travel. Um, our partner uh, was wise and helped direct us in what we needed to do. So. Yeah, I, I never felt um, at unease at any time about our security. Um, like you said, uh, Caleb took care of us while we were there. We were on the outskirts of the major cities, so you're not having to worry about a, a whole lot about that. Nope. Um, you know, the travel in the, the major cities was totally fine. We had a great driver, and you need a great driver. Yes, you do. When you were there. You sure do. Because the traffic is completely different than it is here. Completely different. Completely different. I would not be a good driver there. Somehow, I feel like I saw less um, less accidents on the road, though, than we do here. That's, I found that's that true. to be ironic. That's true. But yeah. Everyone's paying attention. They're just they're very good drivers. Yeah, they're really good. You drivers. have to be. You have to be. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but security. Oh, I felt fine the entire time. Yeah. What else we got here? Okay. Oh, here's a good one. What were your travel arrangements like? Oh, and how long were flights and <laughs> car rides? So this is one of those... Uh, a long answer or a short this answer? Is, this is a long answer. So to get there, of course, it's a long ways from here. Yes. So it's going to take some flights. Sure. Like four flights. <laughs> On average. <laughs> On average. Um, there's, I, I don't think since you know the pandemic that all of the routes have opened back up. Right. And so with the airline we flew, you know, it was, you know, from Orlando to Atlanta, and Atlanta to um, Amsterdam, mm -hmm. and then Amsterdam to Delhi. Mm -hmm. We're not done. And Delhi to Hyderabad. Right. And, um, you know, and on the way there, the layovers um, were not that long. No. No. They were done. Our last layover was, was long enough to relax a little bit before having to get into another plane. Right. But that that change between Amsterdam and Delhi was an hour and a half, yeah, maybe? Maybe. And um maybe. We you know we had to get off the plane and, and get there and then they start boarding an hour early. Mm -hmm. So you're already sitting on the plane and for an hour before the plane takes off. Right. And 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 the plane if I'm if I'm not mistaken, that flight was an hour late mm -hmm. taking off. It was. So we were sitting there for almost two hours before yes. we took off for about an eight and a half hour flight. Right. So it was it was very long. It was. A lot of trying to stand up and I'm not I think you can sleep on flights and yeah. Jamie was able to sleep on the flights. I'm not great at sleeping on flights at all. So it was very, very tiring for me. I was glad that our two longest flights that were eight hours apiece were broken up instead of one long continuous one. It was a little stressful trying to make that connection, but to have that break of getting off the airplane and stretching your legs before doing it one yep. more time. I was thankful for that. Yeah. Yep. On the way back, I mean, same route, just reverse, but we had about an eight hour, eight hour layover in Amsterdam. Right. Which was great because we got to go out. <sighs> That's fantastic. And see the sights. Yeah. Yeah. We took a canal cruise I did. to see the city and the weather was so beautiful yes it was so cool beautiful city sunny yeah got to visit a cheese shop yes would you love cheese i love cheese yeah, yeah. who doesn't it was a 
was a perk right there. Yeah. And uh, ate at a nice, you know, like Belgian pancake house. Yes. It was very good. It was fantastic. After yeah. we ate, had a lot of good food um, on our trip in yes. India, but to yeah. get and to that's, have something a little different, I think that might be the that's last That's probably one. the last one, right? Yeah. So that's... So what kind of food did you eat? Oh man, what didn't we eat? I feel, I feel like um, Caleb went above and beyond the call of duty to take care of our meals and everything that we were fed. We did not go hungry. We did, no, we did no. not. Yeah, and no. so Indian food's one of my favorites. Yeah. And so it was, it was very good. Fantastic. Spi spicy? Yes. But not extremely spicy. Oh, the kind it was of the good spicy, spicy that like warms you up and... Mm -hmm. The flavor was yes. spicy. Yes, really Not just good. a spicy, just to be hot. Right. right? Lots of curries. <clears throat> Lots of curries. Mm -hmm. Had some great naan. Yes. Yep. And um, what's the name of the dish? Is this gave Oh, biryani. We had, mm -hmm. we had a lot of biryani, which I was pretty yes. thrilled about. That's a... It's very good. Yeah. All kinds. Yeah. Chicken, vegetable. Fantastic. Yep. And of course, rice is one of the staples. Right. So it was rice with every meal. Yes. Um, and when you're mixing it with the curry, and it's really good. It's really, it's really good. good. It was really good. We had a cabbage dish. I think Caleb said it was his favorite dish. Uh, it was good, what yes. What did he say? He called it garbage. <laughs> Jokingly called it yeah, garbage. it was very good. It was probably my favorite thing we ate. Um, yeah. Very, very, very tasty and spicy. Um, kind of reminded me of home in the south a little bit, you know, spice, yeah. spicy mm -hmm. cabbage. And I think you had a thing for the potatoes. Oh, they, <laughs> yeah, their potatoes were really, really good. Yeah. I remember uh, this was so this is my second time to India. My first time was in Amritsar area, which is in um, northwest, and um, it was mostly vegetarian there. So I remember having potatoes there, and they were kind of cooked the same way, um, and I just remember loving them. I mean, it was really good, so, really good. And ice cream. Ice cream. Custard apple ice cream was yeah. a first for me. First for me as well. Yeah, custard apple. We don't good. have that in the states. And they had fresh yogurt. Knowledge. Yes. Fresh every. yogurt at the end of every meal. Yes. So, which I think the probiotics help yeah. settle after the spicy, yes. spicy food. So. And the fennel seeds to chew on at the end. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. So the food was, was excellent. Yes. Yeah. It was a wonderful experience. Yes. And we had a treat. We were taken to KFC. Oh yes. One night. We were. Yeah. KFC is good in India too. Yeah. It's, so the Colonel's original it. is a little bit different there. It is. It's a little bit spicier. It is. Yeah. It is. It was so good. good. It was different. very good. It was a good treat. It was. Yeah. Enjoyed that. So any final thoughts from you about the trip? Kind of a, what was your, you know, overall impression now that you've been on a trip and, um, and experienced that? And, you know, what do you look forward to probably, you know, going forward? I think seeing, seeing the trainees most of them. We had a couple that did have some f film experience or who were, you know, technologically more inclined. But th to seeing the trainees selected who had no previous filmmaking experience or doing any of those types of things um, on their phone, especially, seeing them turn out films at the end and watching them be inspired, like, wow, I can create this. I can, I can do this. It just makes me, okay, who's next? <laughs> you know, like I, I, I'm excited now that I've seen it happen to just keep doing it. Um, any opportunity or chance that I can, even in my own context here in the States with friends or youth mm -hmm. or people who, you know, travel or know people with stories like, capture those stories you can do this you yeah. have a cell phone in your pocket i think you say it best in the training the best camera you have is the camera you are oh, the, the best camera is the camera you already have that's yeah. what it is mm -hmm. um yeah really cool yeah so i mean overall for me you know again the training went really really well and so proud of the students mm -hmm. And, um, and one thing that, that, that stood out at the end of the training, um, when we show the films, so Caleb, um, got up and this was kind of took us by surprise. So this is something that we normally don't do. Um, he had some jurors sit mm -hmm. in and then he thought that we were also jurors. You're right. you, myself and, and Jamie. 
And um, so after we had five films, and so after the films played, he kind of said, so, jurors, and pointing to us and the other gentleman that was there, um, what do you think was the best film? And so I tried to be diplomatic because this is, we don't, we don't make it a competition, right? right? Because art is subjective. Exactly. And, um, and so I just stood up and said, you know, it's like, you know, trying to choose which is your favorite child. Mm -hmm. You just can't do it. Um, and so he's like, oh, I, I thought that was what you would say. <laughs> but um, as he and the other gentleman, you know, chose what they thought was the best film, um, they then brought in the students and asked them why they thought it was the best film. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was, I thought that was great. Yeah. Because then the students got to actually discuss what made that film good. Right. You know, it was the story and it was the cinematography and some of the editing, but overall it was the story. And that's what we try and, and, and push, right? right. Cause you, you uh, taught our story yeah. segment this, this time around and you did a remarkable job with it. Oh, thank you. And, um, and so I think the students really got that because that was one of the strong things of all of the films. And I think that's something that all of the students pointed out about one another is that they all had great stories. Yes. Yes, one, um, one of the trainees uh, shared his own story about how he, before he was a believer, he um, was an extremist, a uh, Hindu extremist, and lived that life before coming to faith in Christ. And he was one of the ones that had never really used a smartphone to do anything. And mm -hmm. here he is recording his story of how God changed his life and brought him from that darkness into life as a, now he's a pastor and like just to get the opportunity to get to be play any kind of role in mm -hmm. that training was an honor. Um, and it's also really cool to see these films that are not in English um, and to understand the story from beginning to end. Yeah. Um, that the, the impact that a good story can have, it completely transcends language. Yeah, and then they can take these testimonies and these stories that they they have made, and then they can share those with their community yeah. and the people that they know, uh, the people that they know on social media, and the people who may have been in that same situation. Right. That at that moment they were going through that you know one of these uh, one of our filmmakers made this film about you know, and it can help change their life, and so that's kind of yeah. the power of of film and story. Yeah. And so. And teaching you to do it with your phone that's in your pocket. Yeah. What is it, 98% was the statistics that 98% of the world has a smartphone? Yeah, I think that's. Something something like that. It's a very, very high number. So yeah. just the power you have in your pocket. Um, yeah. Learning to utilize that in a way that advances the kingdom of God. That's. Yeah. It's cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I had a great time on this training. And I'm, I'm looking forward to our next training, so. Me too. Yeah.